So everyone, we've just got to Marrakesh in Morocco and we are about to uh, do our first shoot day. We've got four shoots coming up. Uh, very excited to show you guys some behind the scenes and show you all the footage that we're gonna get. guys so like i said at the start of the video i'm just going to go through my shoot in morocco with sm international team we were shooting over four days we were shooting models hairstylists makeup artists and shot a couple of brand campaigns so just wanted to show you what a shoot with me looks like and what gear that i used so firstly i had a 74 which i'm shooting on right now i had a sony a7 III, which is a bit old but still a great camera i used a DJI Osmo Action 4 and then I had a Fuji Instax Mini Evo I think it is so I had that as well and then of course I had the Fujifilm X106 too so they didn't tell me what to say they didn't pay me I couldn't keep the camera they're not Insta360 but they did let me try it out and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video so yeah, Fuji sent me the camera a couple of days before I left. Um, I did a very quick unboxing video, which you can watch up here. I'll link it in the description below. Um, but because it was a few days before, I didn't have any time to even mess around with the camera. So I just put it in my kit bag and then packed and then went basically. Um, so when I got to Morocco, I knew it wouldn't be my main camera. So basically I just put it into aperture priority mode, which I never ever do. I always shoot manual, but I figured if I just put it to F2 in the lowest ISO, then it should be okay. And that's what I did. And I also, uh, I set it to RAW and JPEG, which I only ever do just RAW only. Uh, but I wanted to see what these Fuji colors look like straight out of camera, hence why I did that. And easy to transfer it to my phone so I could look at it in the evening and stuff when I wasn't as busy. So the camera, it's very small, it's very light. It's got a fixed lens. Um, I think it's equivalent to 35mm in 35mm terms. Um, and the lowest aperture it goes to is f2, which I said, which is what I set it to. So straight away, the first couple of images I got for it, I thought were amazing. The colors look beautiful. I was setting it to one of Fuji's profiles. Uh, we'll go through the images in a bit and I'll show you. Um, but yeah, the images look great. Um, I was very happy with it. Yeah, we'll have a look at um, some of the images here. On the left are the JPEG straight out of camera and on the right are the raw files, which I've slightly edited. N not really though, because I only have my laptop over there, not in the studio. So I did a quick, very quick edit on these ones on the right. Um, but as you can see, the colors on the left look awesome out of camera. So I was very surprised uh, with that. One thing I noticed that when shooting with my camera, you can turn the lens and it can digitally zoom in twice. So I thought that was cool. But then when you open the raw file, it, it takes that crop off again, uh, which I wasn't aware about. Not a massive problem. And, and the, the file size of the camera, 40 odd megapixels, is, is good enough for those cropping JPEG to, to be fine anyway. So I really like that. Would I use that as my own camera? Probably not. Fixed lens is, uh, is not really for me. I need zoom lens when I'm shooting with clients just because I move so fast and everything's so like busy and stuff. So yeah, even though I do love the 35mm focal length along with 85, it's probably my favourite focal length. But yeah, having the, the convenience of having a zoom lens is just easier when I'm on shoots for clients. Colours did look amazing. I was very happy with it. The other thing I didn't really like or, or why it's not for me is it doesn't have dual card slot i always shoot redundant to another slot so i've got a backup and then also the screen doesn't articulate as well which is fine because uh, i always use the viewfinder but on shots where i wanted to get down low it wouldn't tilt around which i found was a bit annoying and also the screen's not very bright so it's very sunny in morocco so it was hard to see the screen sometimes. Would I use it in my, my kit bag as, as a camera that I would use? Absolutely, I would. I found myself wanting to use it more and more and I kept getting it out to get a shot and it, it, you didn't really need to think about anything and I was very happy with the images that I got straight out of camera. Um, so I would have it in my bag. Yeah, absolutely. I was very happy with it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm gonna put up some images now of um, some of the edited photos that I did with my a7 III and a7 IV as well, just so you can see some photos from the trip. If you like this stuff, please give it a like and please subscribe to me. I'll try and do more. Um, I'm very lazy, but I do plan to have more content coming out. So if you like it, please subscribe so you can see more. Peace. <laughs>
they're not Insta360. Uh, edit them over there. Oh, fuck off. Well, it's very light. It's got a fixed aperture. Um, it hasn't got a fixed aperture. Should be okay. And I also shut it. So, like I said, Fuji sent me a, a pegs out of camera look like with Sony's recipes. For the same. 